If I click on the tab for site settings here on the left hand side, this window will pop up and this is where you'll find most of the logistical settings for your website. So you can name your site here. This is where you can submit your domain information when you're ready to launch. You can select your favicon, which is the little icon that shows up in your browser tab up here um, in this particular area. You'll also see your publish URL, which is what your site will publish to, uh, your preview URL as well. So like if you were to want to preview your site by clicking this button right here, this is the URL that it would show. In our second tab within site settings, this will also be where your blog domain lives. So again, once you go and uh, launch your site and you've had show it connect your blog, this is where that domain will live as well. And then third party is where you can add third party integrations for tracking purposes. So this is where you would add in your Google Analytics IDs as well as your Facebook app ID. All you have to do is copy and paste them in. And I have a separate video that shows you how to get these IDs. So take a look for that. But once you have that code, either the measurement code starting with G dash a string of numbers or the legacy code UA dash string of numbers, you'll just copy and paste these in. If for any reason you didn't want Google Analytics to be tracking on your blog templates, you can check this box. Typically speaking, I leave it unchecked so that it does track your traffic on your blog pages as well. Um, but if you had a special plugin or a special integration only on the blog, this would be more of an advanced thing. You might want to check that. If you're not sure, there is a little helpful question mark icon here that will describe more. But again, you can probably just leave this unchecked. So once you've copied and pasted these in, you would just hit close and then, of course, hit publish after any major changes if your site is already live.